Does this concept have enough gas left in it for a second lap? You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Cars 2. You might think I'm crazy. <laughs> hang around with me. It's the American spy. Hang on. It's now or never. To have some yeah. gum. Gatling gun. Request acknowledged. Oh, that's your shoot. I didn't mean. Request acknowledged. I didn't mean that kind of shoot. Deploying shoot. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh. A while back, Pixar said it wasn't in the sequel business. Unfortunately, Disney is, leaving Pixar no choice but to make Toy Story 2 and Toy Story 3, the latter of which worldwide is the highest grossing animated movie of all time. Thus, Pixar decided to give the people what they want, Cars 2, accompanied by a Toy Story short film. Yes, while well, Pixar usually shows an original short film before its feature films, they're now using that slot to continue the story of everyone's favorite toys. And these shorts continue to be a testing ground for future Pixar talent. This is Gary Rydstrom's second run after Lifted, which played in front of Ratatouille. But sitting in the driver's seat for Cars 2 is John Lasseter, the chief creative officer of Pixar and Disney Animation, as well as the principal creative advisor for Disney Imagineering. So isn't he too busy to helm a movie? Kinda. That's why he has animation producer Brad Lewis riding shotgun as co-director. But no way was Lasseter going to let someone else get behind the wheel of the Cars franchise, which sprung from his personal love of cars. And the idea for the sequel was also hatched by Lasseter, who on his world tour to promote the first film was inspired by how different the driving experience is in each country. And a World Grand Prix, which is the premise of Cars 2, is not just a great creative idea, but a great business idea as well. Hollywood is becoming more of a global industry than ever, and every corner of the globe gets FaceTime in this movie. And that doesn't just mean huge global movie ticket sales, but huge global merchandising sales as well. There's a car for every country. Brilliant! The only possible flat tire in Cars 2 future is the quicksand on which 3D seems to be positioned. Going into the summer, it seemed that any movie that wasn't in 3D wasn't trying hard enough. But now it seems that any movie that's in 3D is trying too hard, and audiences aren't biting. Thor, Pirates 4, Kung Fu Panda 2, and Green Lantern have all seen lackluster 3D ticket sales. Will Cars 2 run into the same speed bump? And is it impossible for any animated movie, even one from Pixar, to escape the shadow of Toy Story 3? Let's go find out. How was Cars 2? It was awesome. Did you like Cars 2? Yes. Yes? Yeah, you did? How was Cars 2? Good. Did you like Cars 2? Yeah? Did you like Cars 2? Yeah. 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 I I think there should be a Cars three, four, five, six. Oh, excellent! We so you like it? We could go on and on with this thing. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Oh, cool! What made you come and see it today? Um, for his birthday, for my nephew's birthday, we came to see it because he was excited. Oh, do you think they enjoyed it? They enjoyed it a lot. How is it for adults? I liked it. It's enjoyable too. It has some funny stuff in there, so it's enjoyable. Ah, that's awesome. Who's your favorite character in the movie? Like. Mater. Mater. You like Mater? Tell Mater. Yeah. I'm a fan. I'm Mater. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Who was your favorite car? Francesco. All of them. Yeah. Who was your favorite car? All of them. Yeah. Did you have a favorite car? Lightning McQueen. Yeah. What did you like about it so much? I liked it when Mater uses jet boot. Boost and try to save the car, and it was really fun. Tomato was nice. Yeah, yeah. So, so they went and, around. And Tomato, he got the bad guy. Yeah. Oh, he did. Oh, excellent. A pizza. A pizza. He was He's very excited. Yeah. Did you like them going around the world? Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite country they visited? London. All of them is my favorite country too. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's excellent. That's excellent. It was a little different. Uh, I like the Radiator Springs kind of thing, but I would like to see a little Australian in there. Oh, okay. They missed, yeah, a, missed, they missed a corner of definitely. the globe. Yeah, it was interesting. It was cute because you did get to see, like, um, they had, like, the Pope car and they had Queen Elizabeth car. It was oh, really cute. Oh, that's great. What do you think of all the uh, car gags? Were they fun or did they get old? It was cute. I liked it. Did you see the first cars? Yes. Which one do you like better? Both. Both? Oh, both. So it was, they're equal. You like Pixar making, like, uh, sequels like this or making more original films? I like sequels. Um, it's easy to go with, you know, you can just roll with, play off of whatever movies you already got. What would you say to other people out there who, because you know, this isn't getting very good reviews, 
So would you recommend people come see this movie? If they have kids or something, yeah, I think it's a good movie for the kids. So what would you tell your friends about Cars 2? Go see it. It's awesome. It's oh. cool and it's worth of a try. So how much did you like this movie? A little bit? A lot? How much did you like it? A lot. A lot? How much did you like the movie? A lot. How much did you like it? A lot. Oh, great. What would you give it on a 1 to 10? I'll give it a 10. I'd give it a 9. So Cars 2 definitely scores with younger audiences. But the question is, will older audiences come out to see the movie as well? And we're out here every week covering every major release. So be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Ewok. And I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies. Thank you